I thought the funniest part about being pink was that I was sort of really aggressive and not how people really relate to that color. Um, I like the I like the dichotomy. I like the conflict. Pink is supposed to be a really soft feminine color, and I have that too. But mostly, it's just um, if you get in my face, I'll tell you exactly how I feel and possibly kick your ass afterwards. <laughs> I get in trouble all the time for being too outspoken. I think, especially right now with the whole political thing, when I wrote Dear Mr. President, and now when I speak out against Sarah Palin, uh, people are, it gets sensationalized, and I think it's kind of sad because I think, you know, I'm an American citizen. I come from a military family. I'm, I'm very aware of what's going on politically, and the fact that I'm talking about it and it's a big deal is a really sad commentary on what's going on. More people should be talking about it. More people should have opinions. I'm allowed my opinion. Sarah Palin's allowed hers. I grew up marching on Washington from four years old. Um, my stepmom was a strong female. She had the statue of the nurses erected in Washington, D.C. She was part of that. I have done functions and, and fundraisers for homeless and Thanksgiving dinners for senior citizens since I was four and five years old. So just because I'm a pop star doesn't mean my head's removed from reality, I guess. I feel like celebrities definitely have a platform with which to voice their opinions. I don't feel like celebrities are obligated. I feel like it should come from your heart if that's who you are. I think the public sort of looks down on it sometimes, like, oh, another celebrity with a cause. But you see that like Bono and Angelina and, and Alicia Keys, you see people that really mean what they're saying and it, and it, it touches your heart. You can, you can bring attention to something and I don't think that's a bad thing. Stupid girls. When I wrote that song, um, I it was I feel like it was just at the start of our culture being completely taken over by tabloids. And I was just really, really sad for women. I was really sad for our examples and how divorce and AA and rehab and drunk driving was more important than, than the Natalie Portmans and the smart girls out there that are college graduates. I mean, I just got really sad about the state of being a, a young female in America. Whereas when I was in high school, if you were a slut, it was bad news. Now, if you have a sex tape, you're cool. That's so gross to me and, and unfortunate. When I wrote Dear Mr. President, it was uh, four years ago on Martin Luther King Day. I was incredibly hopeless and I walked into the studio and I was like, we're writing a letter. I thought it was an important song because my way is usually, I think this way I'm right, you're wrong, go to hell. But that song was, here are some questions, not hypothetical questions, questions that I think still haven't been answered. And it was sort of innocent. It was, it was a nice moment. And tell me what as far as the troops go and the soldiers, there's a, there, there's a Bill of Rights that's being put forward that would take care of them, make it possible for the government to take care of them when they get home. I think the statistic is one third of homeless people in the United States are, are veterans. Absolutely go out there and sign the Bill of Rights for American Veterans on chooserlose.com and um, take care of our people. I'm absolutely gonna vote um, because I know how much women fought to vote. And I feel like, unfortunately, a lot of people feel like their vote doesn't count. I think it's sort of a punk rock mentality to go out and have your voice be heard. Know what you're voting for. That's the thing, like screw whether it's a woman or a man or white or black or whatever. Just read up on it. It's interesting. It really is. Register and go out there and just make a decision. Vote for Mickey Mouse if that's who you want, but just do it. I have a song called Sober, which is actually really dark. I was at a party at my own house, and I didn't want to be there, and I didn't want anyone else there. And I had this line in my head, how do I feel this good sober? It's not just about alcohol, it's about vices. We all have different ones. We try to get away from ourselves and find our true selves, and then we do these things that take us so far from the truth. I guess that's sober, is how do, how do I feel this good when it's just me, without anything to lean on? I think it's really important to follow your own path and be an individual, musically, personally. Just take clothes, they're an outer expression of who we are. Boring is boring, no matter how you slice it. Musically, if you're in it for fame and fortune, then you gotta do a certain thing. If you're in it for fulfillment and to get better at your craft and to make points and piss people off, then that's, I choose that route. 
I get a lot of letters from people about how the music sort of influences them in a lot of different ways. From you helped me to come out to you helped me be a strong female, you helped me kick somebody to the curb, you make me want to get on my treadmill. My favorite part about it is that people say, you make me want to be like me instead of I want to be like you, which is my favorite thing because individuality is my number one priority. Look at the business as male dominated because I think it's cyclical. I think there's a lot of really fierce females out there. Rihanna is doing her thing. Beyonce is amazing. Juliette and the Licks is my favorite performer. She's insane. I love Katy Perry and the Ting Tings, and I think the Veronicas are really cute. But I'm still like, I'm still listening to the same stuff I've been listening to since sixth grade. part about live shows for me is that there is no one set of anybody. It's 60s to 8, black, white, you name it. I mean, it's girls, boys, straight, gay. There's no rhyme or reason, and I like that. I've made a lot of really great connections, and I'd be afraid to think of where I'd be without them. So